hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel learn with sumi in this video we are going to uh, find a rank of a matrix using another example so uh, let me write down the question matrix a is equals to 1 3 minus 1 2 0 11 minus 5 and 3 2 minus 5 3 1 then 4 1 1 and 5 okay so i have to find a matrix of this matrix okay so as you can see in the question there is no method given what method we have to use so by default method is echelon form otherwise we also have the determinant form but which is which makes it very complicated you know for the bigger size matrix okay a uh, little bit comfortable with the three cross three matrix but if you go further it makes it more more and more complex so this is the method recommended to use okay if you don't know just check out my previous video wherein i have explained everything in detail so this is the default method okay we have to use and also called as reduced form of a matrix okay and here we perform some elementary operations so in that specific it is recommended that we have to perform row elementary operations okay row elementary operations i hope these are uh, uh, these doubts you do not have it okay in a clone form row elementary operations are recommended to use okay determinants we do not use it as a uh, default method but yes if specifically they have asked you to find it using the determinant method then you have to okay so let's get started it's really easy you just have to play with the rows what does the rows have numbers so we are simply playing with the numbers in the matrix so uh, this is the matrix a okay matrix a i will just the first step what i'll do is i will just rewrite the question okay re rewriting the question should be a habit actually okay so i'm just rewriting the question so here what i'll do is by applying elementary row operation okay see the echelon form echelon form i will write write it here the row the first row should start with one i don't care what comes next zero or any non-zero number okay then this just below this the second row and the first uh, sorry just second uh, correct second row and in the first column you should have just below the one this is the second row right you should have zero this is um, this is the compulsory and here you can have like any number of zeros no uh, limitations but if you have any non-zero number it should lead with one if you have any non-zero numbers in the row it should lead with one okay uh, zero three anything i don't care what comes next then before below this you should be it should be zero then again zero it should be either zero or any non-zero leading uh, any non-zero numbers coming in the row then it should lead with one okay then zero zero and all the elements in the row can also be zero okay um so this this is called a zero row or the zero row okay which will not be counted in the uh, uh, while counting a rank of a matrix so non zero rows the reduced form of a matrix in which we we get a non zero rows for example this this and this so uh, for example i'll have to say what is the rank of a matrix so i'll say rank of a matrix is what 3 here rank of a matrix is 3 here we will not count this and the all the zeroth rows has to be you know the last rows has to be the last rows you cannot have it somewhere in the middle no uh, it is uh, recommended to write all the zero rows in the last rows okay you can have multiple zero rows no no limitations on that too okay so we'll get started you know uh, so echelon form we have to perform some some operations in order to get this in this form so um, see here one 
when I already have one, I do not have uh, one followed by anything. I just you know, don't care. I just want one when I already have. So I will not touch, touch the row one. I will not perform any operation on the row, row one. And the second row as well. You can see I already have zero. I wanted a zero. Right. And here any non-zero number I have apart from one. So it is just 11. So I'm planning to, you know, take care of this at the end. Okay, so I'll just leave the row 2 also as it is. But here I want 0, here also I want 0. So I'll perform, here also I want 0, 0, 0. So I'll perform some row operations. So the, uh, so elementary row operations, so it becomes 0. Okay. So I have, I'll just write this as it is. So minus 1, this is 2. 0, 11, minus 5 and 3. Okay. Mm, I'm performing some some operation here, right? So let me change row three to row three changes from row three minus two r one. If I do this, two minus two into one is going to be zero, right? If I'm performing any operations, I'll just show you. I'll just show you, okay? Row three minus two times row one. What does it become? Row three is two minus two into one. 0 right I'll write 0 here 5 this is minus 5 minus 2 into 3 which is minus 5 minus 6 is minus 11 so we'll write it down minus 11 now I have like my 3 minus 2 into minus 1 which is equals to 3 plus 2 which is equals to 5 so I'll write down the 5 okay then i have like 1 minus 2 into 2 which is equals to my 1 minus 4 which is equals to minus minus 3 so minus 3 okay i'll perform some operations into the row 4 also row 4 also so that it becomes it becomes 0 here so row 4 changes from row 4 to row 4 minus 4 row 1 okay if i'll do this just see so what we are performing row 4 changes from row 4 minus 4 row 1 okay this is this is operation we are performing so I'll just row 4 is what 4 minus 4 into 1 it's going to be 0 right first is 0 1 minus 4 into 3 which is equals to 1 minus 4 there is a 12 so minus 11 and 1 minus 4 into minus 1 which is equals to 1 minus uh, plus 4 which is equals to 5 the last one 5 minus 4 into 2 which is equals to 5 minus 8 which is equals to minus 3 Right? So, I'll just write it down all these. Like what? What all? 0, minus 11, 5 and minus 3 into the 4th row. So, here I'll just write it down. 0, minus 11, 5 and the minus 3. Okay. Done. I have got this much. Now, see. This non-zero number I have. I anyhow I have to change this as 0 0 0 right so what I can do is oh, I can perform like uh, row 3 I can add it to row 2 and row 4 I can add it to row 2 so this, this is all uh, negative you know all the negatives and positives will get cancelled so what I can do in this is row 3 and row 4 I'm changing 1 3 minus 1 2 so row 2 and uh, row 1 I'll keep it as it is okay I'll write it down what are the operations I'm going to perform. So, row 3 I'm changing from row 3 plus row 2 and row 4 I'm changing from row 4 plus row 2. Okay. So, I'm going to add this. So, if I'm adding this 0, so this is minus 11 plus 11 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. Correct. 0 same as it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Here I have to uh, make it 1. So I can simply divide row 2 by 11. But what will happen here? It will become fraction. So let's avoid that. I can make this 1. But it won't look so good. Anyhow the rank is going to be 2 itself. So I will just declare it. Therefore 
the rank of a matrix A is equals to 2. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have found this video helpful, do not forget to subscribe it. Share it with your friends as much as possible so that everyone gets benefited. Okay. This is teaching is not my profession, but I just do it uh, as my hobby to help you all and uh, trying to make the mathematics easy as possible so that everybody understands mathematics. It is, I just want to give a message that mathematics is not a rocket science. Thank you so much.